Ritsuka was walking down the hallway, minding his own business. As he continued walking, it was then that he heard two voices. Master, the voices said in unison. Ritsuka then turned around to see Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison, who were fighting with each other. Ritsuka let out a sigh as he saw the usual behavior whenever those two meet each other. Hey there Tesla, Edison. The two geniuses stopped fighting each other for a moment and turned their attention to Ritsuka. Oh. Hey there master. We have something for you. Me? Yes. Now give me a moment to bring it out, Tesla said. Hey. I should be the one to bring that out. Not you simpleton. Edison argued. Why you? The two then began to fight again, making Ritsuka sigh again. Anyways, what is that item you two wanted to show me? He asked. The two quickly stopped their fighting for a moment and Tesla began to take the object out of his bag. Behold! Our greatest creation! DR Chaldea, prototype number one. Ritsuka was speechless for a moment. Huh? You didn't hear him? This is our greatest creation. DR Chaldea, prototype number one. Edison repeated. Ritsuka was still speechless and confused, but continued the conversation. I see, and how does it work by the way? Well, it's quite simple master. You put it on, and it randomly chooses a servant in Chaldea that you have a connection with as a training partner. And using that servant's data, it helps you train in virtual reality. Of course, this wonderful invention was only possible because of my amazing alternate currents. Tesla continued happily. Edison was not amused at what Tesla said and replied, Huh? What do you mean alternating currents? Shut up you idiot. Tesla interrupted. Huh? You're the idiot here. Are you trying to pick a fight with me? Why you? Tesla then proceeded to tug on Edison's cheek, which Edison did not like. In retaliation, Edison began to pull onto Tesla's face, which he did not like as well. Meanwhile, Ritsuka let out a sigh upon hearing the description of the VR headset itself. Those two will never change. Ritsuka thought as he watched the fight between the two and decided to break them up. You too. Quit fighting. Tesla and Edison stopped their fighting for a moment and turned to Ritsuka. Well? What do you think? Edison asked. Well, it sounds amazing, Ritsuka said with amazement in his voice. Exactly. That is why we called for no one else. We would like you to test this invention on other servants to collect data. So that we can make a completed version. Tesla said. So, I'll just go around in your place, huh? Exactly. Ritsuka thought about Tesla's suggestion for a moment and said, All right. I'll do it. Great. We are leaving it to you. Once we are done collecting data from the other servants, we'll let you have a go at it, Master. Sure. Have you two tried it out? Of course. The system chose Helena Kuan for the both of us. So, we trained in Mahatma. Exactly. It is truly a wonderful system. In fact, it feels so real as well. I see. Anyways, I will ask the other servants out now. See you. Great. Ritsuka soon left the hallway, leaving Tesla and Edison alone. Well then, that worked out well, Edison said. Yeah. Now we have created something that Da Vinci hasn't made yet. Tesla said. Oh yeah. Ever since she went through Master's stash of anime and TV shows, she's been thinking of ideas non-stop. I know right? First was that mystic code that turns anyone into a Gundam, and there was that belt that turns anyone into a Cayman Rider. And she got them working in one shot. Exactly. It feels like she's taking out all the fun of inventing things.
Luckily, we managed to produce this invention before she could. Right. And it's all thanks to me. Hey. What do you mean it's all thanks to you? I had a hand in it too. Huh? And what did you do? Eh, you useless dimwit. Oh really? You shouldn't be saying that when most of time you were searching for useless parts. Oh no, you didn't. Oh yes I did. And Tesla and Edison began to fight all over again. Alright. Now I got this invention that relives a servant's battlefield of their choosing. Wonder, which servant should I ask first? Maybe I should go with someone easy to get along first. As Ritsuka continued walking, it was then that he met Kuchulan. Holy. Hey there master. Ku said with a smile on his face. Perfect, Ritsuka thought. Hey Ku, I have a favor to ask for you. Sure. What is it master? Well, can you try this on? Ritsuka asked as he handed Ku the VR headset. HM? What is this master? Ku asked as he examined the VR headset. Well, it's a VR headset that Tesla and Edison created. VR? What's that? Virtual reality, a simulated experience that can be like or completely different from the real world. Think of it as, well, a new type of training without going outside. Ku got excited after hearing Ritsuka's description. A new type of training? Oh, that sounds fun. Let me try it out master. You sure? Yeah. Well, have a go at it then. Okay. Ku then put the VR headset on. Being able to train while using machines like this is interesting. Let me see how it works. Soon, the VR headset started up, and in an instant, it showed Ku what he was about to see. Ku was excited to see what he was about to see in the VR headset. However, what happened next completely silenced him and made him move back a few steps nervously. Meanwhile, Ritsuka looked at Ku, who was wearing the VR headset while being a nervous wreck at the same time. Ku's been quiet for a while now. I wonder what the VR headset chose for him. After a few more minutes of silence, Ku suddenly took off the VR headset. As he did, Ritsuka saw sweat drops coming down from his forehead. Whoa. What did Ku see that made him sweat so much like that? Ku then handed the VR headset to Ritsuka. Master. This thing is bad for my heart. Sorry, but I will not be training using this. I will be leaving now. Bye. Ku soon left in a hurry, leaving Ritsuka astonished at his actions. Wow. I have never seen Ku run like that before, and what kind of training was shown? Anyways, maybe I should find a stoic person next. Ritsuka then continued to walk down in the hallway. As he did, he came across another servant. Kuzu and Inzhan. HM? Oh, hey there master, Inzhan greeted with a smile on his face. Inzhan, I need your help with this, Ritsuka said as he handed him the VR headset. Master, what is this? Inzhan asked as he inspected the VR headset. That is a VR headset. Inzhan was confused for a moment. V, A, R? What is that? Virtual reality. It is a simulated experience that can be like or completely different from the real world. You can do so many things in VR, including training as well. I see. So, what is it that you want me to do with this? Well, I want you to try this VR headset on. Is that okay with you? Sure. If that is what you ask for, then I'll do it. Inzhan then put the VR headset on. So, I will be able to train in this VR space, together with someone that I know of? Exactly. I see. Well then, here I go. Inzhan then put the headset on and turned it on. As he did, the VR came to life and a person was in front of him. 
Inzhan then began to sit down on the ground and began to do some stretches that he was seeing. Meanwhile, Ritsuka looked Inzhan with relief on his face. Phew. Looks like nothing bad happened to him. Let's see what will happen next. However, it was then that he noticed something that was rising from Inzhan, and it happened to be from a certain area of his body. Ritsuka let out a small groan. Well, that was an unexpected sight of Inzhan I did not expect. Now then, maybe I should find servants that have a strong camaraderie with each other. Ritsuka thought as he sat down on the couches in one of the recreational rooms. Right now, Ritsuka was taking a break after seeing the side effect that happened on Inzhan. It was then that the knights of the round came into the room. As they did, they immediately saw Ritsuka on the couch. Master? HM? Oh, hey there Gawain, Lancelot, Tristan, Bedivere, Mordred, and Gareth, Ritsuka said as he noticed them. Master? What is that in your hands? Gawain asked. Oh this? This is a VR headset. Why do you have something like that? Lancelot asked. Well, earlier, Tesla and Edison created this and asked me to ask other servants to test it out. What this does is that it helps servants train in virtual reality. I see. Do you mind if I want to try that out first? I want to see how it works, Tristan said. Sure. Here you go. Ritsuka then handed Tristan the VR headset. HM. This headset. I wonder how it works. Tristan thought as he put on the headset. Meanwhile, everyone else was watching Tristan using the VR headset. So, that device just projects a real team inside there that helps you to train? That sounds interesting, Bedivere said. TCH. What is the point though? Isn't that the same thing as real training? Mordred asked. Yeah but on the inside. Look, Tristan's doing something now, Gareth said as she pointed to Tristan. Everyone then turned to Tristan, and at once had their faces in shock upon what post Tristan was doing. And it was extremely easy to understand, and disgusting at the same time. Tristan? What are you doing? And in that pose of all things, they all yelled in unison. Gawain then at once grabbed the VR headset from him. As he did, Tristan said a few words. I am truly happy. Gawain let out a sigh. Honestly, Tristan, what were you doing in that VR headset? Please bear in mind that such indecent actions would reflect badly on the Knights of the Round Table's reputation, he said as he put on the VR headset. For a moment, Gawain stood still. Then in a moment, he said a few words. How indecent. Absolutely in, death, sent, he muttered as he raised his hands. And started to grope in the air, alerting everyone. Gawain. What are you doing with those hands of yours, they exclaimed. Lancelot then grabbed the VR headset from Gawain and said, Sir Gawain. You're guilty of it as well. As he said that, he then put on the headset. For a moment, nothing happened. Then Lancelot said, Mamashu? He then stepped back for a moment. W wait. This is wrong. You're my daughter. No wait, son. Everyone was shocked at what Lancelot was saying. At that moment, Ritsuka decided to speak out. Okay. Bedivere, Mordred, and Gareth will not try the VR headset on. Do we all agree on this? Yes. They all exclaimed in unison. Ritsuka then grabbed the VR headset from Lancelot and quickly ran away from him. Okay. This invention is seriously a bad idea. Every servant that I have asked to test it out on had some weird effects on them. Just what did Tesla and Edison create? Wait, never mind. I don't even want to know. Ritsuka thought as he continued to run away from the recreation room. 
As he ran, it was then that he bumped into a certain servant. Ami Ishiro. HM? Master? Shiro said. Ritsuka stopped for a moment. Hey there Shiro. Master, is that a VR headset in your hands? You know what a VR headset is? Yes. I've heard about them in my time. Anyways, what's with the VR headset? Well, Tesla and Edison created this VR headset for training purposes, but it's been having some weird effects on people who use them, and I don't know why. Ritsuka said as he handed Shiro the VR headset. Shiro then inspected the VR headset. HM. There doesn't seem to be any problem with it, and everything seems to be in the right places. Shiro, is there something wrong with the VR headset itself? Well, there's nothing wrong with it master. However, if it still worries you, I could try it out and see if there are any problems if you want. Do you mind? Ritsuka thought about Shiro's proposition and said, sure. Go ahead and see. All right. Here goes nothing. Shiro then put the VR headset on his head. For a while, Shiro did nothing as he stood still, wearing the headset as usual. Ritsuka gulped as he waited for some sort of reaction that was coming. For a moment, Ritsuka felt relieved as there was no reaction from him. However, like before, all his hopes were shattered as Shiro began to move back a few steps, before falling at once into the ground. Shiro? Shiro? Shiro uyuu. Ritsuka yelled, shocked at what just happened. Well master, how did the VR headset go? Tesla asked. Well, it did work. Although it had some weird effects on the people that were testing them out, Ritsuka replied as he handed Tesla and Edison the VR headset. Really now? Edison asked. Yeah. Who took it off at once after wearing it for a few minutes and ran away? Tristan and Gawain were doing some poses that I do not want to talk about, Lancelot mentioned Mashu, Shiro fell to the ground, and Inzhun, I don't want to talk about it. I see, anyways thank you for your help master. Tesla said. Yes. Thanks to the data you acquired for us, we should see if there are any problems so we can make an official version of this. Edison said. Ritsuka let out a sigh, now knowing that the two geniuses should fix what the others were seeing. No problem. Anyways, I should go now. Bye. Bye. Tesla and Edison said in unison. Ritsuka then left, leaving the geniuses alone. All right. Let us see what data the VR headset had, Tesla said as he connected the VR headset to his computer. After a few moments of waiting for the data to be uploaded, it was done. Upon looking at the data, Tesla and Edison were surprised with what they were seeing. For Ku's data, it showed Scathack, her counterpart, and Med. For Inshun's data, it showed Musashi in a track shirt and shorts. For Tristan's data, it showed Meltlil in a track shirt. For Gawain's data, it showed Passionlip in a leotard. For Lancelot's data, it showed Mashu in her demi-servant outfit. And for Shiro's data, it showed Arturia and her counterparts, Ishtar and her counterparts, Parvati, Kama, BB and her sisters, Ilya and her counterparts, Miu, Astria, Nero and her counterparts, Jean Dark and her counterparts, Okita and her counterpart, and Musashi, in various outfits. Wow. Who would have ever known that Amiya Shiro was a ladies' man? Tesla said. Nah. To me, he's a dense road protagonist to me, Edison said. Tesla let out a small sigh. Well, looks like we've got some fixing we need to do. I agree, 